And I'm back. I want to do a recap on the last four or five videos I did. I compiled it all into baggies. That's the way I know to organize it, to find it as fast as possible. Besides a whole big box, a cover plates and needle plates and a whole box of uh, button holder cams I already took next door. This is the rest of what came in those five boxes all compiled. In this box here we have some button holders, um, line stitch attachments, some top shanks, some cams, some Kenmore cams, and some foot pedals. That's what's in there. Uh, on top of the ginormous box of plates, here's some more plates. The second box of plate was started. Uh, besides the whole box of buttonhole cams, I have a few more here. There was enough of these, I put them all separate. Hand wheel washers. I don't know if that's the official name. Now we have a lot of miscellaneous. I did a bag of miscellaneous loose stuff. Just a bunch of everything. And then we have a bunch of miscellaneous tiny parts. I mean, there's spool pins, there's Viking parts, there's Elna parts, all bagged up, little tiny things. A bunch of those, a bag of invisible feet, um, these spool pins for touch and sole, and a few other machines. Uh, a little bag of springs to add to the collection I have already. We have feed doll covers, darning plates. There's a, a lot of plastic ones in there. We got a whole ginormous bag of cams. Black top hat for your slant shank and some, we have some white cams. Uh, flex, flex stitch, I believe they're called. Uh, a whole ginormous bag of bobbin cases. Uh, there's a few shuttles in there, shuttle race. And we have a big bag of tension assemblies. Look at that, all tension assemblies. We have And this was a mix of a uh, a few trade-ins for store credit as well as the big buy I made a couple of years ago of our buckles. We have round bobbins, whole bag of them. We have long bobbins. There's some Davis ones in there and some shuttles. A whole bunch more feet to add to the collection. Looking for some black sides. We have uh, two bags of uh, side, whatever you call those, the, the sliding ones, yeah, the sliding piece, two-piece slidings, I guess. And then we have a, uh, a couple of manuals, touch and sew, 636, a touch and sew stain chain stitch manual. Oh, we have a slant manic We have a, now we have a 503 that probably won't last long. It's in pretty rough shape. I'll have to go through it. We have a 404 book. Now that won't last long. A Kenmore automatic 352 book now in stock. These are all rough too. May I add. Stylus 834 book and a button holder book. Man. Yeah, believe it or not, that was all, once you get rid of all the cardboard and stuff, this is way better. So now if I need feet, it's all in one place. And of course, once it's organized this far, then you got to get per bag, and then you got to organize it even more. But I got this far. I only came over here for a request and I noticed this mess so I cleaned it all up and I'm about to do one more video and it may be the last video over here because I think I'm going to start doing them on the other side again. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you see anything you like, make sure you join my Facebook main group. I'll put a link in the description. And if you'd like to make any type of vintage sewing part request, send me a personal message. I'll be happy to help you. Enjoy the day, everybody.